What's up guys? Are you ready for a new learning? I'm going to teach you as fast and as clear as possible. Are you all ready? Let's start the discussion. Today's topic is about division of polynomials. Before we start, let's have a quick review about the exponent. We have here x raised to 5. x raised to 5 is equivalent to x multiplied to itself 5 times. Another example is y raised to 3. y raised to 3 is equivalent to y multiplied to itself 3 times. Next we have z raised to 4. z raised to 4 is equivalent to z multiplied to itself 4 times. Having this information, now let's divide polynomials. We have x raised to 5 divided by x squared. First, we're going to put them in fraction form. Then, we're going to expand each polynomial. Now, we can cancel out those two x's on the denominator by canceling out two x's on the numerator. Leaving us with x times x times x. Now, all we have to do is put this in exponent form. And that's our final answer, x raised to 3. This method is not always applicable since it is difficult for us to expand higher value exponents. Now, let me teach you another method which is also easy to follow. These are the steps in dividing polynomials with the same variables. First, you need to divide their numerical coefficients. Then, just copy the variable and subtract their exponents. Let's try this. 4x raised to 10 divided by 2x raised to 4. First, we need to divide their numerical coefficients. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. Next, copy the variable. Then, subtract their exponents. And arrange them to get the final answer. And that is 2x raised to 6. Another one. 20a raised to 51 divided by 4a raised to 20. Divide the numerical coefficients. Copy the variable. And subtract the exponents. Final answer is 5a raised to 31. That's the process in dividing polynomials with the same variables. Oh my god! Wow! Now, let's try to divide polynomials with different variables. In dividing polynomials with different variables, first, we're going to put them in fraction form. Next, divide their numerical coefficients. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Then copy the variables to their respective places. x raised to 5 on the numerator and y squared on the denominator. And that is our final answer. 3x raised to 5 over y squared. Another one. 21a raised to 7 divided by 3b raised to 5. Put them in fraction form. Divide the numerical coefficients and copy the variables with their exponents. a raised to 7 on the numerator and b raised to 5 on the denominator. Final answer, 7a raised to 7 over b raised to 5. This is another example. This is a combination of division of polynomials with the same variables and different variables. First, we need to put them in fraction form. Then, 
we need to divide their numerical coefficients. Then, since these polynomials have common variables, we can follow the process of dividing polynomials with same variables. Copy the variable a and subtract the exponents. And copy variable b together with its exponent. Our final answer, 5a squared over b raised to 5. Another one. 14z raised to 5 divided by 7y raised to 6z squared. Put them in a fraction form. Divide the numerical coefficients. Since z raised to 5 and z squared have the same variable, we can also divide them. Copy the variable z and subtract their exponents. Lastly, copy y raised to 6 on the denominator. Our final answer, 2z cubed over y raised to 6. Another one. And for my last example, we have 14y raised to 8 z raised to 5 divided by 7y raised to 6 z squared. This is just also dividing polynomials with the same variables, but this time we have two common variables. First step, we're going to put them in fraction form. Now, divide the numerical coefficients. And since the variables on the numerator and the denominator are common, we can also divide them. Copy the variable y first and subtract the exponents. Copy the variable z and subtract the exponents. Since we don't have a denominator, meaning the denominator is 1. And since the denominator is 1, we don't need to write it anymore. So our final answer is 2y squared z cubed. And that's how you divide polynomials. I also prepared some practice questions for you to familiarize with this topic. If you want, you can answer them and comment your answer below. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.